lesson and today I'm going to be talking about some right hand technique ideas that I like to use a lot um, when I'm doing chordal improvisation. Uh, so in the last couple chordal videos I did, I, I, may, I talked about the chords themselves, but I didn't necessarily talk about um, how to arpeggiate them or right hand technique or such. And I figured today I would, I would talk a little bit about that. Um, the technique I was using in, in that example uh, was just basically one pattern over again with some rhythmic variations. And um, it's a little technique I like to use. I, I call it like a, like a harp arpeggiation technique because to me it kind of sounds like uh, when you hear um, a person plucking a harp when they arpeggiate a chord like that, uh, it, to me it's reminiscent of that sound. Um, so I'm hybrid picking and uh, basically I'm using all of my fingers plus the pick. And uh, first off I'll just show you the first chord I was playing so you can um, uh, play along I guess with it if you feel like it. Uh, so the first chord is the C major 7 with uh, a 13th and sharp 11 to give it more of a lush sound and it, it sounds like this. Taking uh, my pick and putting it on the sixth string, low low E, and then I'm putting my middle finger on the G string. So the first uh, two notes I'm going to pluck are these two: the C and the E. So every time I pluck a string set, I'm plucking two at a time, and I'm um, leaving basically. <clears throat> um, a string or more in between the two notes that I'm plucking. So uh, to give it more of a spaced out kind of sound. So the first set is and then I'm going to go to the next uh, two notes that I'm going to pluck which are going to be A and um, an F sharp. And I'm going to pluck that with the uh, pick on the A D string here and the ring finger on the B string. It's easy to alternate between the two. When you switch between the ring and the middle finger. And then the last set I'm going to pick is the G string and, and uh, high E. And I'm going to use my middle finger and pinky to pluck that. between these three sets, so it sounds like this. And it kind of has a cool, uh, it sounds different than I guess your usual kind of finger style type techniques where you're playing uh, a lot of the times a, um, a single note at a time. This one you're doing two notes at a time. To hear those intervals together, it's really nice. And you don't have to start it with this big of a gap. You could start it smaller between like the low E and the D. There's a lot of possibilities. Um, you could do stuff like um, And uh, that whole example, I was just um, moving it throughout those chords, and uh, yeah, it, uh, it really gives it a nice variation from the usual finger style stuff. Um, if you want to, you can do it without the pick and start it with a thumb in the index like this, and then 
go to the thumb and middle, and then index and ring. So for some people, they might prefer that because you're using your stronger fingers rather than with a pick where you're using your pinky and your ring finger a lot. But I like to use the pick because uh, I don't play fingerstyle a lot and, and I like to use it when I'm switching between lines and chords. I already have, I have the pick in my hand and I just uh, do the hybrid picking thing. So uh, you try experiment with this. Um, there's so much you can do with it and uh, so many cool patterns you can use, especially when you start playing with the rhythm. Uh, so if you have any questions about this video or any other right hand techniques, choral techniques or anything you'd like me to cover, uh, please feel free to comment. And also, if you like the video, please subscribe too. That helps me out. Uh, but no pressure there. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.